Chriselle Davis here of automationbridge.com. This video, I'm going to show you how to send an email from your Gmail that shows that it's coming from your branded email address. Okay, so if you have Gmail configured, in the previous video, I showed you how to configure Gmail to pull in your branded emails. You'll also want to send on behalf of those branded emails because, again, nobody wants to receive emails at their.com and then reply to the emails for, and it shows that they're, it's coming from their Gmail. It's just confusing. The, send, the receiver, the recipient does not know which email to send to. It's sloppy and it, it's really unprofessional. Um, so there's a couple gmail really makes it easy for you to change it so that when you do get an email from your dot com you can send an email and reply to it and it comes from that same dot com so the fact that gmail is managing your email is is really transparent so in order to do this we're gonna go back into our settings now i've already created this account um, so we'll go under accounts and right here uh, in the previous in the previous video you saw me create this email on the pop side which is the incoming and it's right down here so what you want to do is let's just say this one didn't exist we can add another email address you own and we'll put the name we'll put support at automationbridge.com all right you'll click next step and then always select send through Gmail easier to set up it, it definitely is most def it most definitely is easier to set up um, and it's actually higher deliverability a lot of times when you set it up through your SMTP servers depending on your hosting it can get marked as spam because remember when you send it from Gmail it's coming from Gmail but it's going to be on behalf of your dot com so sometimes depending on the you know the email service provider they can mark that as spam or not but when I keep this set as sent through Gmail uh, my deliverability is extremely high so I just always recommend you do that next step and then it's gonna ask for you to send verification uh, when you click this we'll just do it they send an email to this address to make sure you own the address all you have to do is go into that email log in copy that code and paste it right here and then right when you're done you'll select verify this window will close and you'll see your new email address right here and as you see mine says unverified uh, when it's verified it'll look like this and it say you know make default edit info and delete so uh, by make default what that means is if you if you turn your new branded email into default every time you send an email out from Gmail it will be at your branded email address so if that's how you want it to if that's how you want to set it up that's perfectly fine what I found more powerful is when you come down here when it says when replying to a message and just select reply from the same address the message was sent to that way if you have multiple email accounts uh, whatever email account that the message was received in all you have to do is hit reply and gmail will reply from that domain.com so that's the best way to send emails out of gmail from your branded email address